What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Forsaken video. In this vid, I'll be going over the Ascendant Challenge for the week and basically what the Ascendant buff is and what it can do. So before you even start the challenge, you must collect a Tincture of Queen's Foil, which allows you to become Ascendant and begin the challenge. So you can get this from, I've got it from drop from like public events. I've got it to drop from random, oh, what is like little loot caches, little crates. Uh, that the Awoken have around and I think I got one from the blind well not a hundred percent sure if I remember but essentially you'll get one of these to drop it's not that bad to find so it's pretty simple this week the portal to the ascendant realm is inside the lost sector below Petrovenge in the dreaming city it is called the Aphelion's Rest so it's just clearing out the room uh, in the lost sector first before you should, like start anything it's going to make this a lot easier and you're going to die a lot less as well when you're finished with the room at one point you'll hear like a noise of where the portal is but like you won't be able to see it like it like technically won't be there so don't worry just pop that tincture of queen's foil essentially that allows you to become ascendant and you'll be able to see it and go through it so the challenge itself is fairly simple but it can be hard to do solo because of the light level at it's at like it's a really high light level and yeah so i suggest getting a team together to do it i did it solo um just because i'm crazy but you can you can do it solo uh, but it's definitely going to take a little bit more strategy so essentially when you enter the room there will be some shielded crystals uh at the center and there's going to be taken blights around the map go and take out all the blights and while that's happening, make sure to watch out for these huge knights that are going to be chasing after you. Every time you destroy a blight, they'll kind of lose their head and they'll start sprinting after you like uh, the Alakul strike in Destiny 1. There's also going to be some of uh, those like curse taken thrall, except they're like the black sprinting ones um, from the wizards or whatever. So make sure to watch out for those as well. Once you take care of the blights, just come back to the center and destroy all the crystals. Just be forewarned that the knights spawn in the center right when you get there and whatnot. I pop my super. That's what seemed to work. It kind of backed them off a little bit too which is really good so i saw somebody just go in with a midnight queue and they did pretty well with that but basically once you destroy all the crystals in the room the chest will pop up with your loot and you can get it it's a pretty simple challenge to be honest it's definitely um very interesting to do solo if you're with a team you're going to be able to get it done easy I do want to go over the Ascendant buff because yes, it can be used for the weekly challenge, but it also allows you to see different items in the Dreaming City as well. It, it even says like, uh, open your mind to the secrets of the Dreaming City, right? So I was up by Petra and I was just checking out some bounties and whatnot, like just making sure I got what I have. And right before I turned around and left, I saw this little rock that like was kind of invisible, but I could see it and the closer I got, like it popped up, you know, it's kind of like the Dreadnought stuff back in Destiny 1 where like those little... Oh, invisible like walkways like kind of spawn up so basically it was pretty awesome i was like i just basically followed the way through the invisible rocks and led me up to a secret trust right above petra man it was pretty cool so it's gonna be interesting what we find in the dreaming city especially if we get a bunch of these like i definitely want to save a bunch of them up but this is going to be one of the top consumables to have especially here in the beginning weeks if you want to find everything inside of the dreaming city all right guys that's the ascendant challenge week one guide and just some basic info on how to be ascendant all right guys if you want to support me there'll be a link below say best way to support me i'll take it to a four minute video if you want to go check that out that'd be awesome but if you don't want to do that you can always like this video subscribe to the channel share this video turn that notification bell next subscribe if we want to be notified when i drop some new content on the channel and then comment y'all want to see below again and make a content for you whatever you want to see try to get it out there as quickly as possible i definitely want to be dropping some relevant stuff that i think a lot of people can benefit from i'll obviously be dropping reviews on all the new subclasses and stuff like that as well i definitely want to do some more nova warping uh, inside the crucible also we have the discord link below if you want to join the discord that'd be cool as well we don't there's no requirements you don't have to be part of the clan or anything like that we have some text chats going and we have some voice chats so if you want to talk to me it's going to be the best way to do that all right guys hope you enjoyed this video we'll catch you next time